Hi, brothers and sisters. How are you doing today? Good, out, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I remain Apostle Paul Tyro of Love to Watch Ministry. If you have not liked this channel, please kindly like this channel, subscribe to this channel, like the videos, and share the videos to your friends and family. As you do so, may be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, hallelujah. We, uh, we see that a lot of things is going on in the world. Hallelujah. You see that a lot of things is going on in the world, especially what is currently going on in uh, Turkey. In Turkey, we see that um, there's this earthquake that is going on in Turkey. You see, it is not just the earthquake that is going on, but, you know, we understand that the world is passing through some changes because we are in the hand time and a lot of things, a lot of terrible things, a lot of terrifying things will begin to happen. And this is just to proclaim to the inhabitants of the earth that the coming of the Lord is at hand. So we need to get ourselves ready, we need to get ourselves prepared because of the things that are happening and that will still happen. This year is not a, it's not a simple year, it's a year in which we need to keep ourselves in prayers. We need to keep ourselves in prayers. We look at what is happening in Turkey. Um, there was an earthquake that broke out in that place, on, it was not on Monday morning early Monday morning and thousands of people that were sleeping, thousands of people are dead right now as we're talking. These people do not do not know that they are going to die. They didn't need to know they didn't have the premonition of anything that will happen to them, but they actually fell into their bed as the buildings collapses on them. I pray that their soul rest in peace in the name of Jesus Christ. So what are we what 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 can we what can we phantom from this thing that is happening? Well I believe, I believe that you know according to the scriptures, the Bible says that four angels should be released to destroy billions of people. Four angels should be released to destroy billions of people all over the world. Let's let's go to look at Revelation chapter 9, verse 14. Revelation chapter 9, verse Verse, okay, verse 13. It says, And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard it. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God. Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Lose the four angels which are bound in the great river Ephraim. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand were two hundred thousand thousand and I had a number of them. See, these angels were released to destroy men. And when we look at the place where this earthquake occurred, it is we discover that uh, um, the river efforts crosses through Turkey, crosses through Iraq and Syria. And this is where this earthquake occurred. I can say that what we what actually happened was the the, the, the fallen angels that were that were bound in the under the Great River effort were passing through some process of being released. They were passing through some processes of being released, of being released, and this is what actually happened that causes this earthquake that had swallowed thousands and thousands of men and women alive. This is serious. This is serious. This is the reason why we need to get ourselves ready and prepared in prayers, in supplications, drawing closer to God because any time anything can happen, anytime anything can happen, the rapture can happen, the Lord can come and take his own people at any time. You can see how this earthquake has destroyed so many, so many, so many lives. And I believe that it is the processes of these fallen angels. That are under the river efforts that you know that crosses through Turkey, that crosses through Iraq, that crosses through Syria, and is it's it's probably have to be the one that's culminated into this earthquake. So imagine how when they are being released, the kind of uh, 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 the kind of calamity, the kind of calamity they will release upon the face of the earth. Like I said, billions of people do not even know. They don't. The billions of people do not have the slightest idea of what is happening. It is not. There is more to it than meets the eye. 
there is more to it than meets the eye. The fallen angels that are, that are under the river Ephraim, they are being released. They are currently, they are passing through the process of being released. There was a video clip I saw that, you know, that showed, uh, that showed some, that showed the river Ephraim being dried and some voices coming up from the underneath, from the underneath. And somebody was saying that it is the voices of the fallen angels that were earth bound under that river. And they were, you no, know, they were recording the voices. They were recording the voices. So we can, so this, this is to tell us that we are at the end time. We are at the, at the end of times. Things are drastically going to be unfolding. Things are drastically going to be unfolding in a greater dimension, in, 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 a, in, a, in a higher velocity. So we should get ourselves ready and prepared. We should get ourselves prayerful. We should get ourselves involved in the things of God. So that when the trumpet of the rapture blows, so that when the Lord comes to take his own people, we will not be left behind. I pray you will not be left behind in the name of Jesus. I pray I will not be left behind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So these are the things that are happening. These are the things that are happening. Uh, 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 some, some more dangerous things are still going to happen. People that are saying, ah, 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 oh, the, 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 the people in Turkey, uh, some, of, uh, I've been dead. some of these people are still going to die if they are not careful. This is the reason why we need to repent and turn to God. We need to repent and turn to Christ and get ready for Him. Because He is coming very soon. And I pray that He will not meet you or I. He will not meet us, you know, He will not, he will not find us sleeping while He comes in the name of Jesus Christ. A lot of things are still going to happen. A lot of things that are going to destroy men. Pandemic is still going to happen. The, 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 oh, no. The virus that they that they release into the, into into the bloodstream of men is still going to is still going to affect people. A lot of people are still going to die because we are in the end times, and the things that are written in the scripture must be fulfilled. But I pray that you and your family will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will uphold you, it will strengthen you, it will enlarge you, it will empower you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that every darkness in your heart that is covering your soul is removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will see the light of God and you will rise in Him. And no evil shall befall you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. These are the end of times. We need to get ourselves ready. We need to get ourselves ready. The four angels are being released. They are being released. After they have been fully released, you can only imagine what will happen. You can only imagine what will happen after they have been released, after they have been finally released from the clutches of darkness, after they have been released from the clutches of their, of their prison, that's, that, that they have been under the river Everett for, for, for centuries. They are passing through the process of being released. And this is the reason for that earthquake. This is the reason for that earthquake. You can see how it swallowed thousands of men. It swallowed them alive. They are passing through the process of that, of being released. So you can only imagine what will happen when they are finally released from their chains. The Bible says they are going to kill one third, one third of the whole population of the world. One third of the whole population of the world. One third of the whole population of the world, of the world they were killed. Let me read it again. And the four angels were loose, were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the top part of men. To slay the top part of men. Let's say presently we have uh, 8 billion people. Okay, let's put it at, at, at 9 billion people. 9 billion people. So if they are going to kill one third of men, how many billions of people is that? That is 3 billions. 3 billions of human beings are going to die because of these 4 angels that are passing through the process of being released under the river effort. 3 billion of people are going to die. 3 billion of people are going to die by the time they are finally released. You can imagine, that's, that's, a, whole lot, that's, a, that's a whole lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. If we remove 3 billion from the population of the world, what will remain? 6 billion. And the many six billion too, we 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 pass we we, we <laughs> many billions of it we also die through some other plagues that will be released upon the face of the earth. We are in the hands of my brother, my sister. I pray that the Lord will uphold you, will strengthen you, 
It will empower you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please and please don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends and family. Tell them to get ready. That the things happening in Turkey, it is not, it is not, it, 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 there's more to it than meet the high. There is more to it than meet the high. The four angels are being loosed presently as we're talking. They are being released from their chains. Little by little, they are being released. Little by little, they are being released. By the time they are finally released, there will have billions of people to kill. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will not be part of those that will kill in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will find in heaven, even after rapture had happened, and the Lord had come to take his own people in the name of Jesus. Their processes of being released may take years, but I tell you, as it is being done, a lot of destructions are still going to be caused. And when they were finally released, they will not have billions of people more to kill. <laughs> it is well with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us keep ourselves under the shadow of the Almighty every day, every time that we find ourselves, everywhere that we find ourselves. Let us keep our family under the shadow of the Almighty. Let us pray. Let us continue in prayer. Let us continue in prayer. And let us warn everyone around us that they should get ready and prepare because we are in the end times and things are going to be happening. Things are seriously going to be happening. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that no evil shall befall you or your family in the name of Jesus Christ. No evil shall befall you. No evil shall befall your family. The Lord shall protect you in the name of Jesus. As the Lord Jesus Christ will protect you and your family will protect them and family in the name of Jesus Christ. Every path of darkness will not be that that that, that, that is being spread that is being exercised upon the world will not be a particle of it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will deliver you and your family and will rescue you in the name of Jesus. Till the day of his coming, we shall be found blameless and spotless in the name of Jesus Christ. When people are passing through a lot of challenges, tribulations, great tribulations upon the earth, we shall be in ever rejoicing with the King of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because of our prayers. Blessed be your name, O God. We pray for Turkey. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord will visit Turkey. We help Turkey and help Turkey to stand strong and firm in the name of Jesus Christ. All the people that have lost their lives, we pray, oh God, leave us shine that Kataya Basa. We pray for those, we pray that for their family, that they shall be comforted in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that Christ shall dwell in their hearts and they shall see the light of Christ. And they shall receive Jesus into their heart and soul. And they shall surrender to the Lord of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for the whole world. We pray, oh God, that you help your people to stand firm in you in the name of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us, enlarge us, empower us. For your glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you've done this. For in Jesus' most wonderful name we are prayed. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Please and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this channel, and share the video to your friends and family. Let them like it, let them see it, and then tell them to get prepared. Because the things that are happening in the world are more than to meet the high. We are in the end times and things are getting out of hand. Things are seriously getting out of hand. The four angels are presently being loosed. And this is the reason for the earthquake and for more of it that will still come. So tell them to get ready because Jesus is also coming soon. I pray that the disaster will not locate us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I come your way again. I remain up to support Tower of Blood to Watch Ministry. God bless you. God bless your family in the name of Jesus. If you have any prayer points, you want me to pray along with you, you want me to pray with you, don't hesitate to send them to me. I'll be glad, I'll be grateful to hear from you and also to pray along with you. And I trust God that God is going to do great and mighty things in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I pray that the Lord will help each and every one of us to stand strong and firm to the day of His coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I come here again to have a wonderful, blessed, glorious time. Bye for now. I love you.